What's up guys, in this video I am going to be reviewing or doing my first smells for uh, Omar's from School of Scents Fragrances. There's only going to be three fragrances that Neil sent over. Um, so he did send over in that big care package, Mr. Majestic, yep, Mr. Majestic. He sent over Mr. Maritime and Mr. Romantic. Without knowing the notes of any of these, I just by the name, I feel like I would lean towards Mr. Romantic, but we shall see. Um, this, I just finished doing the Killian video, so I'm not gonna spray these on skin. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put them on test strips. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Mr. Maritime, just because I believe this is probably the one I'm not gonna like um, out of the three. I'm not really into aquatic fragrances. All right, let's go ahead and spray these on a test strip. Or spray this one. Is it touching our work? We got one spray out of it. So, you got a good spray on it. All right, so the notes on here say marine notes, bergamot, green mango, tonka bean, clary, sage, rhubarb, cedarwood, and sandalwood and amber. I do get the marine notes, the bergamot, and the green mango. It's not as bad as I was expecting for a marine fragrance, which I don't normally lean for marine fragrances. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry, dry down on the test strip for a little bit longer. Next one I'm gonna go ahead and do is Mr. Majestic. Hopefully this atomizer works a little bit better. Go ahead and spray this one on. Okay, so. This is interesting. But kind of smells like nail polish. It kind of smells like a nail salon. All right, so. We got notes are cardamom, cardamom pod, bergamot oil, purple plum, white sandalwood, iris, Amber, cedarwood, tonka bean, and lapinum. I'm assuming that nail polish type of smell is from the iris. I guess you could call it a makeup bag, but it smells more like a nail salon. This just fragrance entirely. This is another one I'm gonna have to let dry down. It's an interesting scent. Just because I'm saying it smells like a nail salon does not mean it smells bad. It's a fragrance I would enjoy just smelling it. I don't know if I would wear it, but let's go ahead and get into Mr. Romantic. This is probably gonna be my favorite. I know I'm really leaning to darker fragrances and it sounds like it would be a dark fragrance. All right, so we got the notes our labdanum i don't know if you say that chamoli or camoli cardamom lavender neroli amber sandalwood musk and vanilla so hmm i might have to give this one another spray it's pretty faint on the test strip if not on my spray it on a finger Maybe I'm going nose blind already just from smelling the other two and smelling the Killian fragrances. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna let these sit for a little bit. Uh, so far out of the three, the one that got my attention is actually Mr. Maritime. Um, it's not what I was expecting. I expected the aquatic notes. Now that mango is really coming through. Yeah, this mango pretty much smells like a like a green mango on the test strip. Interesting. So 
So if you guys don't know, I'm Puerto Rican. I grew up eating mangoes. Mangoes is something I do like. I might have to spray that one on skin just to try it. I might spray it on a finger or something. Hmm. This is Mr. Majestic. I might just have to go ahead and spray all of these on fingers on my on my fingers. Hmm. Let's see if Mr. Romantic. Mr. Romantic doesn't come off as strong. On the test strip. This one actually smells like a like a hotel room. All right, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and spray all these on test strips. So if you guys know what I think about Cartier's Noir Absolute, I think it smells like a smoked-in motel room. Mr. Romantic kind of smells like a romantic, you know, romantic hotel room. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and spray these on my finger just because I'm. I just want to see if, what they actually smell like on skin. They got my interest. I really do like Mr. Maritime. I like how it smells very tropical. It reminds me of home. It reminds me of Puerto Rico. That's what it reminds me of. That might be why it's going to be, well, I guess I'll go ahead and put it at number one for right now. Number two is gonna go on my thumb. This is gonna be for Mr. Majestic. So, my initial spray actually smelled a little bit like rum, but I'll go ahead and let that sit for a little bit and Mr. Romantic is going to go on my other hand. These are all very unique. Like I've never smelled anything that smells like these fragrances. They're really interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed. I was expecting not to really like any of these. For sure, Mr. Maritime is number one. Mr. Majestic, actually, as it dries down, Mr. Majestic reminds me of something. Let me see. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. I just realized I look completely dark. Let me go ahead and scoot back a little bit just so you guys can see me. It just happens to be that the sun's coming through right now. Hmm. You definitely get a heavy plum note. Not as strong, the iris isn't as strong on skin as it is on the test strip. Where did I put this one? I think I'm going to put this one. Hmm. So. I do get more lavender. And the musk and vanilla. Hmm. I, they're interesting. I don't know if I would get full bottles. I don't know which one to put at number two and which one to put at number three. They're both really interesting fragrances. I might put Mr. Majestic at number two and then Mr. Romantic at number three. Just because I think Mr. Majestic, Mr. Majestic is a bit more interesting than Mr. Romantic is. Mr. Romantic is a pretty easygoing fragrance. Um, I was expecting kind of like a deaf, or a deep dark fragrance for normally that type of, you know, romantic, dark, moving the bed sheets, you know? Which is still a really interesting fragrance, but Mr. Romantic is actually, instead of being like a 
dark romantic type of fragrance i would see this more like a this might more like not a sophisticated gentleman i would say more like a young kid that doesn't want to wear designer fragrances i guess i'm least impressed by mr romantic which i thought i was going to be the most impressed by This is probably the video you have. It's long, but it's just a lot of trying to figure things out here. I do really like this. Actually, I, I'm changing it up here. Yeah, so number one is gonna be Maritime. Number two, Mr. Majestic. Number three, Mr. Romantic. If I had to pick a bottle of any of these, or just if I would grab any of these bottles, I think I would pick a bottle of Maritime. Maritime and Mr. Majestic, they're both really good. Uh, as they dried down, they, be, they, well, Maritime was very impressive to me from the beginning. It just smells like a mango and reminds me of Puerto Rico. That's why that one is gonna go with number one. Number two, Mr. Majestic is actually a pretty close number one. I feel like if Mr. Maritime didn't remind me of Puerto Rico, Mr. Majestic would probably be a number, it'd be a closer number one. Really interesting fragrance though. Um, I would probably pick up bottles of the first two. Mr. Romantic, not interesting enough to me to pick up a bottle. Um, so I just finished that Killian video. It could also be that as they're smelling these Killian fragrances, I mean, it's Killian, I mean, that'll miss. I'm gonna go ahead and smell the fragrances again. But yeah. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. That's the three I have for you. Um, please leave a like, please leave, please subscribe. And leave a comment on if you guys do have any of these three or if you guys have tried any of these three, what do you guys think about these fragrances? Um, I'm not too familiar with School of Scents. Um, this was just sent over from Neil, so I wanna review them just because I was interested in his fragrances or you know just checking out to see what they smell like i wasn't ready to buy a bottle or blind buy a bottle either but yeah um definitely mr majestic and mr maritime are the top two out of the three for me anyways guys that's all i have for you guys catch you guys on the next one